What's good, everybody? Thank you for joining me for this Lockout Men Travels vlog. I know this is a long vlog. It's 48 minutes long. But I just wanted to make sure that I give you the information you need about J&R Shrugel Trucking. It's a lot of information about the company. And I just want to make sure that you get all the information you need to know about J&R Shrugel Trucking. So please... Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Is it dark? Can you guys see me good? I don't know if y'all if y'all can see me good. I mean Yo, Mac, I don't even understand how they didn't understand you and that Mary Joy. Yeah, I Get know, Get that old man. robotic, futuristic George Jetson. Yeah, crazy well, you Joy. Down, ah, ah. Can you see me good? Y'all can see me good. Hey, what's happening? What's going on, YouTube? What's up? What's up? Well, this is the start of another Lockout Men Travels Vlog. And I am here at the terminal in New Ulm, Minnesota. JR Swoogle's main terminal up here in New Ulm, Minnesota. 40 years of 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 trucking up here in this small company well i am here to drop the load that i am on right now well it's not even a load it's an empty trailer and i'm about to drop that and pick up the new trailer that's heading over to wisconsin no further ado everybody let me go ahead and uh drop this trailer right quick I know you guys don't want to see it because it's boring. It's boring. Y'all seen it once too many times. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here at all. Just the truck driver dropping his trailer and picking it up a new one. Here at the New Home Terminal. About to go up in here, drop this paperwork into the scan. You guys want to see how that works? Come on, y'all. Y'all don't want to see how that works, right? I mean, y'all don't want to see how that works. But I, since you guys are interested, I'll, I guess I'll show you. See, I told you it was boring. So boring that you guys didn't even get a chance to see it. <laughs> Walking through the shop right now. So I gotta be quiet because they're doing a lot of work in here. But as I said before, we do run flatbed. As a matter of fact, I think we're getting a couple of more. Do run flatbed over here. There we go. I gotta get some, gotta get some clarity up in here. So, shout out to my man. There he is right there, Atley. Say what's up, man. What's up, man? All right, this uh the new Shugel driver right here. Mm -hmm. You know, rocking out at Shugel. Mm -hmm. So, like I said before, if you guys want to come over, man, holler at your boy and I can. I could get you in the door. He's here for three months. Tell him a little bit about yourself. Whew. Still learning the business. Still learning the business. All right. And how long you been here? Three months. Three months. And you liking it so far? So far, so good. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. So, this is my man, 
What's your name again? Adley. Adley. Yeah. Adley? Adley. Yeah. Adley. 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 Yeah, and See. you guys subscribe. Subscribe for these good videos, man. Support them. I appreciate that, brother man. Thank yeah. you very much. Definitely, man. All right, so like I said, I'm about to go in here and finish up taking care of some business, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. So we are ready to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm already hooked up to my trailer. Got my paperwork, which is already in the trailer. So now I'm ready to go. And this is it. JNR Schwugel's New Ulm Terminal here in New Ulm, Minnesota. We got trucks. We got plenty of trucks for you, so one of them is waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? Come on and uh, holler at your boy to find out how to get into one of those right quick, all right? By the way, they all have APUs. Yes, yes they do. And some of them come with Epic View, the satellite tv yeah satellite tv so small trucking company here in uh new Alm, 40 years strong started by um started by a couple of brothers hence the name j and r swoop so let's hop up in this bad boy and uh get this day finished out there and a lot of a lot of you guys coming out of out of a uh, truck driving school y'all looking for a company where y'all can feel comfortable at you guys seen my videos lockout men makes the call and you know I talk to a lot of recruiters out here to talk about various trucking companies out here. I'm a driver as well as a recruiter for this particular company. Now I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I, I, you know, I haven't been with this company long, all right? I've only been with this company for a little bit. A little bit that I have learned from this company, I enjoy it. But see, that's just coming from me. All right, and I'm telling you guys from my experience, you know, I'm not gonna just say, hey, come on and jump on the board and we do this and we do that and I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna tell you from my experience what I have so far experienced with this company. What I am gonna do is tell you a little bit about the company. J&R Schwugel Trucking started 40 years ago in Minnesota, New Orleans, Minnesota. Now, New Orleans, Minnesota is like a quiet town. It's not, you know, it's not loud like Minneapolis. It's about an hour, it's about an hour and a half out from Minneapolis. New Orleans, Minnesota is one of our state's most beautiful cities. It's also one of our state's most historic. Located 90 miles south of the Twin Cities in the scenic Minnesota River Valley. It was started by two brothers, hence the name J and R Schwugel. Um, they started out. Uh, they they started out hauling grain and stuff like that, and then uh, 
several years down the line, they started hauling uh, refrigerated freight. Now, refrigerated freight is is probably the bread and butter of this company. All right, we haul a lot of refrigerated freight for a lot of companies like Kraft, Walmart. There will be a lot of dedicated lanes and a lot of regional lanes for that freight, which gives you the prospective driver a good opportunity to get some miles and get some home time now if home time is what you want I, i'm not going to say this might be the company for you but i'm just saying if home time is what you want then this is one of the particular companies that you may want to look into if you want home time I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you right quick of what we got available. <laughs> I wanna say about some of these companies out here, alright? Um when you come out here and I'm I'm directing this to the rookies, to the to the rookies that 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 that, that don't have the adequate time with with their prospective companies. You have to make the company comfortable for you. Now, when you talk to the recruiters, you talk to them, the recruiters will give you their spiel, and, and it's up to you to accept that spiel. You know, I'm a driver recruiter myself, so it's up to you to, to accept what I'm telling you. Do you think it's a good fit or not? See, basically, that's what it's about. The company got to be a good fit for you and your family. Get into that company and you start experiencing stuff that's not to your life. Then it's time to go. It really is. It, it really is. You got to understand something. You have... You have what is called a CDL license, but don't forget you have to have your your certificate as well because you can't have one without the other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's your gold card. That's your golden ticket to get whatever driving job that you may want. You is now considered the elite now. You are the professional driver. If one company is not treating you well and i said before try to stick it out with that company but if that company is really really not treating you well then it's time to go if you have something if you're with that company and you've been with that company for a while you notice little things here like home time for example when it's time to go home it's time to go home all right when it's time to work it's time to work i'm just throwing this in your ear so that you could be prepared for it if it ever should come your way and then it should give you an idea on what to do like I said before you guys it's my experience my experience is gonna be totally different from you guys but I'm just saying one thing for sure one thing for damn sure is to not let these companies get over on you and this is directed towards the rookies not the experienced guys because we we pretty much already know <laughs> you know what to do in certain situations how to talk to people you know how to make sure our way is taken care of basically that's what it's all about it's about taking care of you when it's time to go home it's time to go home and you put that request in this is the first industry that i ever worked at that i had to put a request to go home this is the life that we chose you're supposed to be going home on that requested day you put it in you say hey i want to go home and especially if you give it to them equitable time you want to go home on this certain day and you'll be back on this certain day that gives them enough time to start getting stuff together on their end to make sure that you get home. When that becomes a problem, then it's time to 
make preparations for other things. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. We about to roll. Where are we going? We going to Winthorpe, Minnesota to pick up from a dairy farm. And then we're going to take that down to Wisconsin over to JNR Spoogle Terminal, which is a terminal which is along the lane. Look, let me tell you something about JNR Spoogle. We got the lanes. We just opened up a new uh, regional route. We got Midwest and Southeast, right? So everybody that lives down in the uh, southeast and everybody that lives along the Midwest, we got routes for you. We can get you home every week. But check it out. We just opened up the Northeast. Now, I'm not a fan of the Northeast. You hear what I'm saying? Not a fan. No. So Northeast is what I'm not going to do. So no, no Northeast. But. For you guys that do stay up in the Northeast, we have a regional route for you up there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, grab that uh, regional route and get home every week. That's one of the new routes that we got, I mean, new regions that we got open. Give me a minute. I'm about to roll over to Best Buy right quick and take care of this. And I'm about to jump right back in it and give you guys a little bit more of what J and R. Schwugel got to offer. <laughs> that parking right there see every time I go somewhere I always trip plan make sure that there's adequate parking especially when I have a trailer attached because you can't take a 70 foot <laughs> well 53 60 about a 60 to a 70 foot long damn trade tractor trailer into any place you got a trip plan and make sure that it's enough room for you to park. I am here at Dairy's Farmers of America, but I'm not sure where here is. I don't see no docks. I don't. I don't see anything. I mean, I see a. I seen a door down farther down, but I don't see no docks. Of course I couldn't take y'all in there. You know how some of these places are. Go around the building and go over to building four and then they'll load me up. Oh god damn it was cold up in there. I had to stand in there while he was loading the truck. Don't know why but it didn't take him that long. It only took him like 15 minutes. And he's nice enough to shut the trailer doors and put the seal on. You want to know where we made it to? I'm about to show you where we made it to. Toma, Wisconsin. The J and R Schwugel Toma Terminal. Yes, once again, here at this terminal. Let me look. J and R Schwugel is it's not a it's not a mega carrier, y'all. We got three 
terminals one in Columbus one here in Wisconsin and the main terminal in Minnesota and all three of them is is small you know look we got the shop we got the yard we got the trucks and that's what it is it's it's not like your big mega carrier you know what I'm saying it's no intimidation factor at least not to me look I had to hop back into the truck man it was cold out there but I'm about to break it down right quick and let you guys know what we're looking for I'm not I'm not co-signing this company just to be co-signing it all right I really do enjoy working for this company and my enjoyment and my experience with this company is all mine you guys gotta make it yours all right now look let me, let watch look listen let me let me tell you this right quick so whatever so you gotta you gotta bear with me right quick all right we're hiring you know what i'm saying we're a trucking company we need drivers you know there's there's this thing called a driver shortage well the famous saying by truckers is you bought it i brought it but some ohio lawmakers have noticed a big hole in the number of drivers and feel it can be improved today they proposed new ways to encourage drivers and i found out why the shortage is so serious watching the trucks roll through hubbard it's hard to believe there's a driver shortage but z cattle of r j trucking notices it every day he could use a dozen drivers to haul between seven terminals around the state. Every company out there is suffering for lack of drivers to get their freight from point A to point B. Now look where you're at. Which way does the trailer need to go? Truckers are in demand, and the Newcastle School of Trades is trying to fill it. Training to get a CDL license takes eight weeks and costs six grand. Ohio lawmakers are looking at some ways to help get drivers trained by creating a $5 million scholarship and loan fund for students. With the amount of hours that these programs are, they don't qualify for federal aid. So having scholarships and grants and everything will really enhance. I think there'll be an uptick. But in my humble opinion, the only reason why we got that shortage is because drivers are not happy where they at and they're trying to find other places where they can be happy at. You may or may not gonna be happy. It, it may take one, maybe two, maybe three. Hell, it might take maybe 10 companies before you get to that one. It only took one for me, all right? It only took one. I was with my first company for two and a half years, okay? Did the damn thing. Y'all seen it and y'all seen my video what happened to me. Here's what JNR Schwugel, Schwugel. Remember before I used to pronounce the name wrong, I used to say Schwagel, but it's Schwugel. JNR Schwugel Trucking, small company up in New Orleans, Minnesota. This is what they're offering, all right? Check it out, check it out. And I'm, I just found this out myself, all right? Ohio, all right? They got a, they got a dedicated Ohio run home weekends and daily. And this is out of Ohio, my home state. I think I'm gonna check into that myself, even though I like what I'm doing now. But if I wanna go home, I got cut off, <laughs> but I'm back. Ohio, we have, we have an Ohio run that's home daily and on weekends. I'm not sure what that is, but I am going to find out because I'm from Ohio and I might be interested in that. Chicago, local, uh, home daily and on weekends and paid hourly. Now I can tell you what that run is about. That's the, that's the craft distribution out in Chicago. So basically what you'll be doing is running loads from uh, craft distribution in Aurora and craft distribution in Champaign as well as going over to the Riverdale yard and several other spots in the Chicagoland area. Now, we got three 
regionals all right those are two those the two locals all right because a lot of you guys is looking for local y'all keep saying like yo i need something local i need something close to home or something like that yada 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 you live in chicago check us out you live in ohio check us out we got three regional runs all right we have Northeast, I mean, uh, Southeast Regional, that's home weekly, that runs for drivers in Atlanta, the Carolinas, Mississippi, oh, I'm sorry, Memphis, Tennessee, and Florida. Yes, I said it, Florida. We do have freight coming out of Florida. So if you live in the Florida, if you live in Florida, we have freight that's coming out of Florida. Midwest. Midwest is not listed, but I'm, I'm about to tell you what the Midwest is all about. So Midwest uh, Regional is home on the weekends and you can run, we run Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, um, Indiana, and Ohio and we go as far as maybe pa or we go at east far east as pa they're home every week every weekend and when i tell you that you're home let the guys know and they'll get you home every weekend next is brand new northeast regional now let me tell you something i'm not fucking with the northeast all right, I hate the Northeast. Do not like, I didn't like the Northeast when I was running for the previous company and I don't like the Northeast now. But if you live up in the Northeast, then this route or this, this region is for you. It's for drivers out of PA, New York, New Jersey, uh, Connecticut, Maine, Delaware, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania I did say New Jersey right I did say Maine right and Ohio see I told you Ohio all right so we got that for you Northeast people so like I said give us a call am I done yet I'm not done yet I'm not done yet hold on real quick I am not done yet look at that we even got black trailers, man. Look at that. That, that. that freaking trailer is so freaking sweet. I'm just popping up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We are here. I am here. Y'all not here, but I am here. But you're here with me, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that you guys is here with me. Not only that we got three regionals, we have a week on and a week off. Slip CC. Y'all heard me. CA to MN. We also have the regular uh, 48. So yes, we do run 48 states. So yes, we do have OTR. So if you want to get out there and grind, you can do that too. A couple of weeks out and come home or however you want to do it. That's what's up. We have a dedicated run as well. And it's for drivers located near Springfield, Missouri and Chicago. Now, those two Chicago and Springfield, that's uh, that's the runs that goes down in the craft caves in Missouri and bring them back to the craft distributions in Illinois. What do you guys think? I mean, sounds good, right? But I know what you're thinking, though. You're saying, block out me. Come on, dude. You sounded like one of them recruiters. Look, I hear you. Talk to me. Let's keep the conversation going in the uh, in the comments below. You want to know what I know about JNR Swoogle, and I'm here to give you the honest facts about JNR Swoogle. And if I don't know, I will find out for you. That's what I do. Or I could hook you up with my girl Katie, who is my recruiter that's working with me. So I'm gonna hook you up with her. And she can go over the requirements with you as well as as well as 
the CPM. Let me explain something to me. I mean, let me, to me. <laughs> let me explain something to you. Please do not come and ask me what's the CPM, all right? And the reason why I'm saying that is because the starting CPM varies from person to person. It varies from person that has the experience. If you're coming out of school, of course you're not gonna make as much as a person that's coming in with a year of experience. What I'm gonna do for you on that, when you ask me, like I said, I'll hook you up with my girl Katie and she can go over the cent per mile and the requirements to get that cent per mile or to get approved to come on board with JNR Schwugel. Look, I know I haven't been here with the company that long and I am now making a recruiting video for the company, but I'm gonna tell you this much. So far, the company's been good to me, all right? Yeah, I had a couple of incidents. Who hasn't had any incidents in the companies that they work for? The fleet managers, I only deal with one, well, two. I deal with two fleet managers. My main fleet manager, I like him, all right? Do I like him? Yes. Do he gets me home? Yes. Do he give me the miles? Yes. If I need something or detention pay, he makes sure I get it. If I do something extra, he'll pay me extra for it. So I don't mind doing favors. Now we got a problem here? We got a problem, nigga? Look, I, I'm just gonna say this, alright? If you guys is interested in the home time, JNR Schwugel got it. Since I've been here with JNR Schwugel, I've been home more times than I can than I can say. So far here, I've been home. And like I said, guys, look, you know, it's about my experience. Alright? And I'm just giving you I, I'm just giving you what the company is offering. Alright? So if you want to know more about JNR Schwugel, we do have a website. You can you can holler, you can go to jnrschwugel.com. Look at the look at the maps. Uh, look at the maps. Look at the areas. Look at what we got to offer. And oh, the all important thing I I know you guys. The all important thing y'all want to know about the equipment. You want to know if we have manuals. I mean manual trucks. Yes. We do have manual truck. P press too, and that's the camera. See that little thing with the cord coming from it? That's the camera. That's the camera. I know what the white thing is. Damn it, that look nice. That's the TV. Day, day. Look at that camera watching your ass. Yeah, this is a freight line of Cascadia. This is probably what I'm gonna get. Not this truck, but one like it. <clears throat> this is a straight drive, I mean, a manual shift. But we also have automatics, all right? We have both. You want to know what else we got? For you guys that's interested, I'm scrolling down. We have lease options. You know what I'm saying? We have, if you want to lease a truck and make a little bit more money, we have that. We have lease options. Ask Katie about that. She uh, she can go over details with you as far as the pay. Uh, as far as the pay and all that other good stuff that you might be interested in. The trucks that we got, we got Kenworths. We got Freightliners. We got Internationals. 
You know what I'm saying? And like I said, both manual and automatic is available if you want it. All right? So, what else? What, what else I can say? What else I can say? Hold up. All right, look. Company drivers, right off the rip, all right? Right off the rip. We got incentives that's, that pays on safety, all right? We have a safety incentive. So if you're a safe driver, driving the truck out there, doing what you're doing, doing, getting it there from point A to point B, safe, no accidents, no nothing, no incidents, you get an extra two cent. You know what I'm saying? It may not be nothing, but depending on how much you're making, it might be something. We do offer a sign-on bonus. The JNR Swoogle is will give you 1500 Okay, that's one thousand five hundred dollars. We will give you that, and you will get it. Maybe within I might be talking out of term here, but you may get it within six months. Company drivers, and I'm talking company here. You do get benefits. All right, the benefits includes Blue Cross Blue Shield, Delta Dental and a 401k plan for yourself and for your family. You can find out more information about that when you talk to Katie. The opportunity to become part owner of JNR Shrugal. Now, I, I never understood the term uh, employee owned. I never understood that because I am an employee, all right, and I stand to gain stock into the company after, I think after the first year, we start generate stock. Make sure you ask Katie about that as well, all right? But we will start to ask, I mean, start to generate stock into the company. So when you retire, and hopefully you retire from JNR Shrugal, you would get an extra pay. I almost forgot, all right? Inside the trucks, the amenities for the trucks. Yes, we do have them. And yes, we do offer them. We have APUs. Of course, we got e-logs. The Qualcomm system, all right? The navigation is built into the Qualcomm system. I will highly suggest that any new truck driver coming on board, get yourself a dedicated truck-specific GPS. Trust me, y'all gonna love me for it. We have Easy Pass, we have Pre Pass, we have all the passes that you need. But I'm gonna be honest with you, all right? Because that's what you guys want. Y'all want honesty, right? And I'm I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing, nothing at all. <music> gonna sugarcoat it that's that's it the drive cam a lot of you guys is it's kind of intimidated by the camera and I can understand all right all the trucks have cameras in their trucks a lot of guys are concerned about privacy issues I am too all right. I mean, I wasn't a fan of the camera when I came here either. All right. But do your homework about the drive cam. All right. It does record 24 hours. Okay. It's an event camera. It only records when an event happens. So the event, the critical events are speeding, hard braking, uh, jerk, uh, 
I call it jerk curving. So if you like swerve or jerk or anything like that, it'll record it. It'll take snippets of it. It will record several seconds back and several seconds before. What I do want to tell you, all right, don't do nothing that puts you in a bad situation on camera. So let's say you decide to be on the phone while you're driving, like testing and stuff like that. And then you just happen to look up and hard break. Of course that camera is gonna catch this in your hand. My suggestion to you guys is don't have your phones in your hand at all. Put it on a mount. I have a mount. I got a mount. Click. Y'all heard that? That was the mount. That's where my phone's at. That's where my phone's at all the time. I'm hands free. Same thing with my equipment. You see this right here? This is my GoPro. Right here is strapped to my arm. And you guys know I have a hand strap. So I don't have nothing in my hand while I'm driving. And you don't want the camera to catch you with with any incriminating would you want the camera what you want this camera right here to do is to protect you that's what you want it to do you want it to protect you you want to make sure that it got the information that will protect you so if a car swerves in front of you and brake checks you you want that camera right there to capture it capture it capture it you want that camera to capture it God damn. Let me let me dig into the privacy right quick and then we'll move on. A way is you can put some tape over the tape over the lens when you do your when you do your break. Your 10 hour, your half an hour, your 34. Put some tape over it. Cover it up. Put a hat over it. You don't have to have, if you if if you're afraid that it's still recording you for whatever odd reason, cover it up. Driving, that's different. Driving, you're on their time. Back here, you're on your time. Up here, you're on their time. So when you're on their time, they're gonna wanna see what's what's going on. And that's sort of like saying Big Brother watches over you. And I get it. It's a lot of Big Brothers out there that's watching. But I don't complain about it no more because I'm pretty much used to it. You see this calendar right here? Bam. I got it it blocks it blocks my home. It don't block me while I'm driving, but it blocks my home when I'm back there. See what? Yeah, you can uh you can get at me uh several several ways. All right. I, I mentioned that you can get at me by my Gmail, which is lockoutmen at gmail.com, uh Instagram, uh at lockoutmen, uh Facebook, and on the Zello app. Yes, you can holler at me on the solo, on the Zello app, okay? The Zello app, you gotta download the app, all right? When you download the app, you'll bring it up. You'll go to contacts, all right? You'll go to contacts, you'll go to add contacts, all right? My name on the Zello is the same name that I'm always using, Lockout Men, man. There's a lot of ways to get connected out here, right? That's it. That's it for this episode, man. This is a this is a fun fact, fun field episode. You guys know what to do. I'm about to give you the abbreviated. Give you. I'm about to give you the abbreviated version. All right. This is what you do. You subscribe. You hit that button, which is everywhere. You can do it from the video. You can do it from the channel. You can do it at the end of the video. However you want to do it, just do it. Just subscribe. All right. Now, once you subscribe, you gotta hit that bell because if you don't hit that bell, then you ain't gonna know nothing about the stuff that's coming up. So you gotta hit that bell. After you hit that bell, you hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. It's all about interaction, okay? Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. Just, just interact with the video. And last but not least, my favorite, 
Let's keep the conversation going, shall we? Especially in the comments below. All right, this is me. Y'all know who I am. I don't need to. I don't need to say my name again, right? I'm gonna say it anyway. It's lockout men, and the battery is flashing. So that's telling me I gotta go. So you guys take it easy, and I will come back at you again with another video. Y'all take it easy. I'll holler at you later. Peace.